Hi there, welcome back to the next challenge in my Hacker Rank series. So if you're a new viewer, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about string validators. Like always, I've got the Hacker Rank website to the left of my screen, and I've got a Jupyter notebook on that right hand side that will help me explain things a bit better. Let's have a look at the task. Python has built in string validation methods for basic data. It can check if a string is composed of alphabetical characters, alphanumeric characters, digits, etc. Let me give you an example. If you have the ABC string, and if you say is alnum, so what is alnum does, it checks if there are letters from the alphabet plus numbers. So is alnum is short for is alphabetic numeric. This is true because there is alphabet, no numbers, it doesn't, doesn't matter because that checks for both of them. And if either comes true, it will say, hey, yes, there is some of them. The next one is, for example, ABC1. And if you want to check if it is only alphabet, you go is alpha. So this returns false because, yes, there are letters from the alphabet, but there is a number. So this one only checks if this is pure alphabet. So what is the one for pure number is digit. So it will say, yes, it is true. It's purely digit. If I had the letter D here, that would come back as false. The next thing is lower. It will check if all the letters are lower and the opposite would be is upper. So you can, oops is upper. So that returns true because every one of them is uppercase. If I put a small z here, you will see that it will, it will come back as false. So these are the five functions that we will be using for this specific task. I'll scroll down to the task itself. It says, you're given a string s. If you haven't seen my previous videos, let me recap the fact that we are receiving an input from the user. So any time in a Python development chain of instructions, you're going to receive something like a username or a password or the number of iterations, whatever that the user needs to input. So you receive that from the input function. If I run this by itself, you will see that it provides a nice little rectangle for me to start typing. If I type my name, look, you, re you just typed something as Amir. Um, if I want to save it in a string, I'll say, okay, can you please save this word into the variable s? If I print s, you will see that I can see my name because I entered it in, um, in the input function. Um, let me get rid of that. So we are receiving something from the user and the task is to find out if the string s contains alphanumeric characters, alphabetical characters, digits, lowercase and uppercase. So we need the same order. Look at the example that has been given. It's QA2. So the input, let me just receive this, which is Q capital A and two. I'll do that. If I print S, you will see that S is QA2. So we're happy with that. Um, all I need to do this time is Instead of saying ABC, I will say S. So is S, which is QA2, alnum, that is true. Is S alpha, that is false, but there is a catch here. If you look at the sample output, it should return all true because let's read the task carefully again. Your task is to find out if the string S contains any of those five categories. So we're not talking about the whole thing together as a QA2 together. I should be able to tell you that inside QA2, which is Q, A, and 2, is the, is any of them from alphanumeric um, nature. The way we usually do that, we make a loop and say for, say, item in S, let's first print it you will see that it separates them into Q and A and two. So what I need to do is essentially check these five functions onto every single one of them and then say, hey, look, for example, from the function is alnum, I checked it on Q, it was true. 
for A, it was true, and for 2, it was true. You can try it. You can say, is L num here? And you will see that true, 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 because Q fits in alphanumeric, A fits in alphanumeric, and number 2 fits in alphanumeric. This is only for one of the functions, so I have to check it for every single one of them. The best way to do that is to use the Python built in any function. So that's how we write it, like in English. And all we need to do is to check on every single item. So let's say, let's put the loop here for item in S. This is my loop. What I will be checking, I will put it in the beginning. I will say item is L num. I understand that this might sound a bit confusing uh, how I'm doing it. Essentially, instead of doing this in a loop and then printing three times, I'll say return if there is any true within this. So let's print this. You will see that I got one true. So in the back end, behind the scenes, what Python did was say, okay, I know that this string is QA2. Let's check it for Q first. Is it alnum? Yes, it is true. For A, item is A. Is A alnum? Yes, that is true. And then number two, is number two in alnum? Yes, that is true. So in overall, it is true. What I can do, I can do it with the next function, is alpha. So this time, instead of saying alnum, I'll say alpha. Yes, it is true. So you can see that without writing an exhaustive for loop that goes through everything and makes different Boolean variables like true false, I can just use my any function to do this. So right now, I'll take this, copy it here. Next one is the function which is is alpha. Then the next function is is digit. So let's copy is digit here. Let me just copy and paste this twice again. I need one for lower, one for upper. So is lower and is. I hope it's easy for you to understand. If not, leave questions in the comments area with exactly what you want to understand. And I am more than happy to help you. Let's run this code and let's keep our fingers crossed. It will run. Yes, congratulations. We did it. And if you liked this video, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me and encourages me to build more content for you guys. Let me just submit it. Uh, yeah, all the cases run. So what Hacker Rank does is they test it on very different types of input and we were successful. I earned 10 points and see you next time. Thank you.